What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we are looking at Dion Sanders. Prime time. He's number 34 on the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time list. Finally a name that I've actually seen before and I did, I really did like him. To be honest, after about two months into this journey of watching American football, someone asked me who is your favourite player so far? And you know what, I racked my brain I thought shit, who is it? And it was Dion Sanders. And it's because he was amazing as an athlete. He was just absolutely amazing. He was so quick. And he wasn't the smallest guy, but I, I, honestly, looking at him, I just did not expect him to be that fast, but he was. And he also played uh, professional baseball at the same time, I think. I'm pretty sure. But we're about to find out. So I'm going to roll the intro, and I'll see you in a minute. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing Four. Dion didn't get on the scene until he played the University of Miami. And I'll never forget it. I ran an out and up. He bit, he went for the interception. And I was like, got him now. And I looked back, I was like, throw it fast, throw it fast, here he comes. The next thing I know, he pushes me down, picks the ball. I'm laying on the carpet in Miami. He was a cornerback. I actually forgot that for a second. Looking up, he has some. My football ran back the other way with his hands up in the air in my stadium. Most incredible play I've ever seen by a football player still to this day. I thought that was the bird a prime time right there because that was a prime time play. Atlanta fans' prayers may have prime been time. too by the NFL's newest prime time attraction. In the first quarter of his first NFL game, Deion Sanders brought prime time to Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Let's go. Where you going, prime time? Oh, dropped it. It's live. Breaks two. Beats three. Beats four. Beats five. Beats six. Beats seven. <laughs> In 14 He's the man. seasons with five different teams, Sanders returned kicks and also played receiver, but he was most feared as a defensive back. everybody coming after him. So he played receiver too. The high step, the Dion shuffle. I don't know exactly what they called it, but I liked it as soon as I saw it. It's pretty awesome. It's confidence. I don't uh, consider it cockiness. I feel like I was somewhat of an entertainer doing what I love to do. He was the fastest guy on the field. Out. I just had a tremendous gift. I think everybody who receives the gifts they ought to be happy about the gift. We like to say if he's showboating, then that means he's empty. You know, like the truck that goes over the track. The empty truck makes the loudest noise. But Dion makes noise, and he is full. Don't you fool yourself. <laughs> You're not just playing Dion the physical player. You're not just playing Dion the quick cornerback. You're playing the cerebral guy that thinks the game through, that understands the game. Mm. We were traveling. He had his laptop. He's studying. On trip, I'm trying to talk to him. And we, and he's studying. I was like, this is what you were doing when we were playing against each other. I had plenty one-on-one -on -one battles with Dion. I walked out of games, one catch for four yards. I don't think anybody's ever helped me to one catch for four yards, but Dion. <laughs> Wow. He plays chess with you the whole game. My job is to be at a certain spot at a certain time. I don't have time to play chess with you, Dion. I have to go. But he does that. He makes you play chess. And a lot of times, you'll miss that spot. Sanders made 53 interceptions, scored 22 total touchdowns, and won back-to-back -back Super Bowl rings with the 49ers in 1994 
and the Cowboys in 95. Shit. He came to the NFL with glitzy nicknames, Neon Dion, and Prime Time, then backed them up with performances that ensured he would also be called one of history's best. I think Deion Sanders is the greatest athlete I've ever been around. But you rarely see a guy this gifted work this hard. That's what made him great. He didn't rest on his gifts. When you see the combination of the two coming together, you get the Michael Jordans and the Tiger Woods and the Deion Sanders. Yeah, absolute legend. What a legend of the game. And now he's uh, an analyst, is that right? So, but I didn't realize like he was such a, a student of the game. That's quite interesting. And we didn't hear nothing about his baseball career either, which kind of sucks. But anyways, Deion Sanders, I've probably done like four videos on him now. So that's fine. It's done. The next one is number 33. We are in the top third. Sid Luckman. Good old Sid. If you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe and stick around, like I said, please do. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.